what's going on everybody? Jason here, bringing you a quick video. Um, I got a big surprise for you and some of you guys are going to yell at me when you see what I did. But, uh, this will probably be the last video for maybe a month or two. Uh, really busy with Christmas and holidays as I'm sure all of you are. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, you guys stay safe out there. Don't drink and drive! If you're going to drink, stay home, call an Uber, whatever. Uh, so, I'm going to give you a quick update on the tank here, and let me tell you what I've done. Alright guys, here is the 55. Um, I've got a canister filter on order coming, hopefully Monday. Um, it's a new Sun Sun model. I think it's 304B, but it's a new model. It's like 525 gallons per hour. Uh, I need more filtration. These uh, hang on the back filters do not hold enough media. My nitrates are getting fairly high, so I need a better filter in here. I'm going to fill that up with my Biohome Ultimate Filter Media. There is Ragnar turning into a beast. As you can see, there's a lot more decor in this tank, and you're probably going to be like, why is there all this decor in here? Well, there's a little convict. Now you guys are going to start yelling at me. There's two convicts in here. That one's the big guy. There's a little one right in there inside the shell. Photobomb inside the pot. I'm sorry. In there is a two inch long jaguar cichlid. And inside that log is a baby Jack Dempsey. Now you guys are probably cursing at me right now like what the hell why did you buy the why did you put them with Ragnar well they're fairly cheap fish they were all around four dollars a piece and I wanted to see how Ragnar reacts to these guys and when these guys grow this freaking convict over here he think he sees his reflection in the in the tank and he always wants to fight it now here's the weird thing. As you can see, Ragnar doesn't seem to care about these fish. Oh, there goes... There goes the little jaguar. You just got a glimpse of the jaguar. He's really, really pretty. Whoop, there he goes. So as you can kind of see, he's very curious about these fish, but he's not really attacking them as I was kind of hoping this was kind of an experiment because Ragnar's never been with any other fish. I've never fed him anything live other than a few worms. He's never had any feeder fish. He's never eaten a fish. And honestly, it seemed like he was getting bored. Uh, his color was fading and he just seemed bored. And honestly, since I put these fish in here, he seems to be really curious trying to look for them and just watching them, but he's not attacking them at all. And this is really crazy for a flat, look at the freaking abdomen on that guy, insane. But this is really weird because flower horns are known to be extremely aggressive. Well, maybe they're only that way because that's how they're raised. People put mirrors in the tank, they put one other fish, kind of make them fight. Um, I've kind of trained Ragnar not to be aggressive. Whenever I clean the tank, my hand's in there, he, he'll he pretty much stay away from me. He's not really that aggressive. And so, to, and to be honest, I was a little bit bored. I was like, you know, I want to put some more fish in here. Now, I know you guys are like, dude, this tank is way too small for a flower horn and especially a jaguar. You are absolutely correct. And having it's going to take a long time for that jaguar to grow. And then you're going to be like, well, why didn't you keep Magneto? Well, you guys know I moved. Um, I couldn't really... I didn't know if I was going to be able to put a 75 in this house. But this is going to force me to get a bigger tank next year. And around spring or summer, I want to get a 125. And I've got to find a way to put it in this house. I might even put it in the garage. So I might have a setup or a build on that. But for now, um, getting all these fish used to each other... And as you can see, they're all hiding, but because Ragnar is pretty uh, intimidating to them. But all these little fish have already eaten. I'm throwing flakes in there. I put just a couple of hours after the jaguar was in there, I fed them because it was about five o'clock. I put some flakes, and and all these little guys are coming out and eating. So, Jesus, freaking beast. 
So I made lots of hiding places. I went and bought a couple of pots and busted some holes in them. I got the log in there, angled some rocks, the, the jaguars in there, little convicts in the pot. That other convict is, he's, he's pretty brave. He doesn't seem to care about the flower horn too much. But, yeah, I know you guys are going to be like, dude, that's crazy. You can't put these guys together. Well, guess what I did? And Ragnar doesn't seem to really care. If anything, he's more curious. Like, he, did, he didn't even know other fish existed. There's that convict back there. See, you can clearly see he thinks there's like a reflection. There's another fish over there. He just wants to fight it. Kind of an idiot. But this convict's got some pretty cool colors on it. And he definitely has a lot of guts when it comes to that flower horn. He's not too scared of them. He'll, he'll go and hide when Ragnar comes along. There you can see Ragnar. He's trying to peek in there and look for the jaguar. He's just like, who are these guys? Okay, guys, well, that's the update. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are going to start talking a whole lot of smack in the comment section, and that's okay. I, I know what I'm doing. I know this could backfire. Um, as long as Ragnar doesn't try to attack these people. I mean, there they are right there. There's a convict back there in the corner. There's Ragnar. Doesn't even freaking care. I'm sure if these fish were his size he'd probably get pissed. I think he just understands that these little guys are no threat to him. So, this is going to kind of push me and force me to get a bigger tank next year. I want to go 125. I've never had a 125, and I want to get one. And it's going to be freaking awesome. But, uh, yeah. So that's the update. I got two convicts, a Jaguar, a Jack Dempsey. They're all maybe around two inch little babies and so far I've had them in. It, they, they've all been in here for a few days now. I wanted to wait to see how they all interacted before I made a video and they seem to be doing fine for now. So that's the update guys. Uh, like I said, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and I will see you guys in 2020. Take care out there.